today I want to show you a seed saving hack that I use to save my native plant seeds. Welcome to my YouTube channel 90% Native. My name is Michelle and I grow native plants and I garden for the wildlife. So first off I'm going to take you up to my deck and show you what I do to save these native plant seeds. You guys know I grow so many native plants from seeds and buying seed packets for three to five dollars a pop can get kind of pricey. So now that I've been growing these types of plants for many years now, I have, um, I am able to save seeds from my plants so that I can continue and add to many more generations of these native plants. Okay guys, so first up, I have these fine mesh bags with a drawstring. I bought these so many years ago, I think for maybe a party or something, and I didn't want to throw them out and they finally came into good use. So what I do with these guys, and I will link them down below, is this is a New Jersey tea, and right here you'll see that I have covered where the seed heads were with these bags, and what happens is because with New Jersey tea, the seeds like really like to pop off real quick and fall to the ground. I have these seeds over here in the corner, so I have these saved. So now I have the seeds so I can make more plants and I don't have to worry about spending the money on buying new seeds. Okay, next up coming down here to my island garden, you can see I've done the same with blue flag iris where I have captured those seed heads in the in the bag so that when those seeds seed heads pop open those bags will catch those seeds blue flag iris was actually the first plant that I did this with because for two years I think I kept forgetting to save the seed heads and finally on that third year I'm like I am not gonna miss this I'm not buying any more seeds so anyway I went ahead and did that and I have been growing blue flag iris from my own seeds ever since and the germination rate on those seeds have been phenomenal. Now we'll walk over to the native plant hedgerow. I'm overdue to give you guys a garden tour. We'll do that soon. Anyway, back here I have hoary skull cap and this is one of the plants they really and truly, these seeds just fall immediately to the ground. So I put um, the mesh bags over these seeds. Now, this is my first year trying to capture the seeds of the hoary skull cap like this. I happened to think about it the other day when I wanted some of these seeds because I wanted to make sure and get some planted for next year. So I ran out here and did this. These seed heads, as you can see here, they just empty out and drop right to the ground. So unless you are really diligent about coming out here and catching those seeds, they're gonna, you're, you're gonna miss them. And now over to a plant that I do this with every year as well and that is swamp rose mallow actually let me take you over and i'll show you the plants that i've grown from my own seeds last year so this whole flat here are from seeds that i collected from my own plants last year so you can see that this actually does work <laughs> And right here you can see are the swamp rose mallow seed heads. Um, one of these is about to burst open. And then all I need to do here is just cover this seed head, these seed heads with the mesh bag. I'm gonna pull the drawstring and then my seed heads will be safe in this bag. Okay guys, if you know anything about Northern Virginia weather in the summer, it is so hot and so humid here. So I usually do very little in the gardening in, in the garden in July and August because of that. Um, I don't like the heat. As much as I like gardening, I am not a big huge fan of the heat. However, we have a couple days of 99 and 100 degree weather coming up. So that's why I'm trying to do this video and get back in the house. But then after that, around September 12th, the weather is going to, or the, the temperatures are gonna drop a little bit, which is fantastic. 
and I am just itching at getting some of these fall projects um, going, a few of the ones that I've talked about, so stay tuned for that. I'm going to be working over there in the new woodland garden, moving and planting trees and shrubs over there. Up here in my front yard garden beds, I'm gonna be moving a lot of plants around. You all know that I like to keep things in the front yard garden bed as as tidy as I can using native plants. So this is just an ever going project, um, an experiment so that we can um, just, other than the Japanese Pakistandra, do a formal front yard garden bed and then just a lot of winter sewing coming up. So anyway, I just wanted to give you a quick um, update on what's going to be happening here as soon as the temperatures drop a little bit because as you can see i don't do well in this super super hot humid weather okay guys if you want to see how my rock border edges are faring i will uh, link a video here otherwise thank you for taking your time to join me here today happy gardening and i will catch you again next time